Revelations chapter 13 verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Kahalah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakadash, Shalom to the elect and the remnant of the children of Israel. My name is Brother Daniel Allah from the prophets in Babylon. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone of Ruel. Peace and salutations to the Akim who are pushing out this work with truth and sincerity. Also, Brakata to the Akwaf who are listening as well. So, you know, today, you know, uh, I was doing, a, you know, an app, an app based job of doing deliveries. And uh, I stopped by this uh, dessert shop, you know. You know, the first thing that popped in my uh, that popped in my head was you know was you know like the CBDC and uh, and the digital currency slowly transitioning and and, um, and siphoning out the cash the of the fiscal federal bank note, you know, and I saw this, which which you will see in certain restaurants. That it, that it will say we're cashless, we're cashless, you know. And there's a lot of people that have cash still, you know. And I also see when I get off the interstate to go to a certain street or or another city, I still see the homeless, you know, like panhandling, you know, thing that people have cash nowadays, but not a lot of people have cash nowadays, you know, you know, so, you know, in second Ezra's 91, let's grab that real quick. It says that we got to measure the times diligently within itself. All right. We got to measure the times diligently within, like within itself. So you won't be startled of what's, you know, about to uh, transition or to manifest in the near future. So this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the same very, uh, very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You see? So we must measure the times diligently within itself because, you know, we're in the transition of the digital dollar, which will lead to what? The karagma. You know? And and they're going to give you an ultimatum. Right now, you know, right now, uh, you know, that they have these uh, self-checkouts and there's less and less, um, you know, cashiers, you know, so we're coming into a time like never before. We never seen this before, man, you know, so there's more self checkouts than cashiers nowadays, you know, and, and uh, certain places are going cashless, you know, and, uh, and sooner or later, all places are going to end up being cashless. And, and, then, and then you won't be able to pull out money from the ATM anymore. And then sooner or later, the leasing offices are going to have to transition to the digital dollar. Everybody's going to have to transition or they're not going to have a business. Or they're not going to continue in the society unless they transition into the... Um, the beast system, you know, and uh, 
And I've been listening to several classes lately of the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. I started with Elder Apostle Tahar, and I've been listening to Elder uh, Apostle Gabar about about the about the Karagma and how you know certain uh, camps still don't believe that the, that the Karagma is the um, it's the sea hip, you know. But sooner or later. You know, Esau is going to give an ultimatum, you know, uh, a strict, a strict draconian choice, uh, a draconian law, whether you continue in this society or you get left behind, you know, you know, or you get left behind, you know, and then sooner or later, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be, you know, the C-Hip or the, or, or the guillotine. And that's when he's going to start doing mass murders of a lot of people, man, who don't want to get with the program. But yes, most places I've seen so far are going cashless. There's a lot of restaurants going cashless. Restaurants I never even heard before um, um, in the city of Tampa, you know, because... Uh, you know, because I do deliveries of, uh, you know, like different restaurants and, you know, and places as well. But I'm starting to see more signs of saying that we're cashless. And sooner or later, it's going to end up being the Karakma, man. And, and the only way for you to eat um, the products today and and uh or or sell any products you're gonna have to take um the c hip the karakma the badger server tube that's the only way you know and um, the majority of these people are going to take it but you don't have to be the majority you know you so-called blacks hispanics hispanics and the Na native americans who are the true biblical Israelites according to the Bible. You don't have to be like everybody else, man. You know, like get back with your power and know the names of the Heavenly Father and the Son in the ancient Hebrew, which is Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father, which means He is or He exists. And Yahweh Shai, you know, the, the Son, like the only begotten Son, you know, Yahweh Shai means that He is the Deliverer. So those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son, all right, in the ancient Hebrew. So you have to get back with your power, man, and, and, and you have to serve him with true sincerity and show consideration on a daily basis, man, you know, because we are wretched men, you know, and we need to be saved from ourselves, we need, and we need to be saved, saved from our enemies. We need to be saved from this world that we're living in because it's only going to get worse. It's getting worse by the second on a daily basis, man. You know, right now, hyperinflation, the food prices are going up, you know, and people are working twice as hard than usual. So more people, I, I start to see more people uh, work harder than usual. And I start, I, I feel the vibrations of these people of, uh, you know, I, I, I feel their stress. I feel their stress. I feel um, their anger. So it's like, you know, you got to like pretty much like maneuver amount, uh, um, around that type of energy, man. You know, like I tell, you know, like brethren to be uh, um, sheep among wolves, you know. Be wise as a serpent and harmless as doves. You know what I'm saying? And put, you know, and have, uh, and let your speech, and, and, and let your speech be with grace always and seasoned with salt when you speak to people. And also in Romans 12 and uh, 12 and 18, live peaceably with all men. Because the stress on these people is sometimes it's just beyond me. And then, and then the majority of these people, 
they have no idea what's going on. And you can just see it, you know. But sooner or later, when that economy crashes, you know, and, uh, and the world just flips upside down, I truly believe a lot of people are going to go insane because they don't know what's going on. And when it hits them like a wall or like a, a, or a semi truck, you know what I'm saying? Is, you know, these people are going to go like, 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 you know, like these people are going to go absolutely berserk, not knowing what's going on. And, the, and a lot of people are going to learn the hard way. And that's when a lot of people are going to fold and they're going to take the karagma. But this is what the Lord said. Uh-oh. I destroyed my screen on my phone. I got to get me a new one. Got to get me a new one. So... I need to buy a case for it. But anyways, let's get Revelations 3 and 10. We just, we're just going to end it on that. All right. So this is the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. All right. The whole goal is, is to please the Lord and to keep his word, to keep the commandments. All right. To keep the fear, to remain in the fear of the Lord and and the sweetness of his, and, and keep the sweetness of his commandments, according to Sirach, according to Sirach 20, uh, um, 23, 20, uh, 27, you know, it says, because that, because that has kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. And the hour of temptation is when they push the uh, karagma in the four corners of the earth, causing everybody uh, to to take it, all right? A lot of people are going to be caused to do it. They're not going to be forced to do it. They're going to be caused to do it out of fear, out of stress, out of, uh, you know, trials and tribulations, distress, etc. you know? Which shall come upon all the... Uh, um, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. So the whole world's going to be tried, you know, but verse 11, behold, I come quickly, hold that fast, which thou hast, that no man take that crown. You know, Psalms 119, 11, thy, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. You see, when you hide the words within your heart, which is your subconscious. All right. You are holding fast what you have, you know, and then you're holding on to your crown. So you're holding on to your crown and, 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 and hiding those precepts within your heart, you know, and applying those precepts on the daily. You know what I'm saying? No one can take your crown away from you as long as being applied and, and also asking the Lord to not to take the Holy Spirit from you as well. You know, you don't want to be a part of that, uh, you know, of that folding. When people start to fold and, and, and take that uh, and take that karagma, man, you, you, you would want the Lord to protect you so you won't be destroyed. You know, of the thermonuclear missiles, which is the lake of fire. OK. The, the destruction of the Lord, according to Revelations 14 and 9. All the way down to verse 12. All right. So be prepared to see more places like these saying that we're cashless. All right. So, so be aware. 
you know, be aware and, uh, and, and watch and pray. So I hope this class was edifying to the elect. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Kakadash. Till next time, I say Shalom.